Hello crafty friends, this is card number 27 in my full deck challenge. I recently made these specimen window index cards and I really love the way they turned out. So I was inspired to create card number 27 in a similar style and technique. I will start by preparing the face of the card for the paint that I'm going to add. So I'm going to add a double piece of tissue paper with some Mod Podge to the face of the card. The tissue paper I'm using is the type that would you would use for wrapping a gift. And I just use a white color, so it is a plain, like you could say a canvas for me to add my colors. Once that's dry, I'm going to trim the edges with my scissors. You could also tear the edges or even tear it smaller than the card so that some of the card face actually shows. I want to cover all of mine because I'd like the color to be across the full card. Now I'm just checking the corners and sticking those down really well with some glue stick. I'm using oxide inks, but you could also use this with watercolor or watered down acrylics. I add a few drops of the color onto the card and then I spray it with my water from the little spray bottle and I just allow the color to move through over the face of the card. I'm going to use a few different colors and I do tend to dry each layer well before I add the next color, otherwise the colors can become a little bit muddy. If you wanted to join in the full deck challenge and learn some new fun techniques, it's not too late. You can search for the group on Facebook, just search full deck challenge group. I will just show you all the beautiful colors and how they've blended and the markings that they've left on the card. I think that is quite pretty. I'm going to add a small pop of color in pink because the flowers I'm going to add in my specimen window are going to be pink and I want to carry that color across. The pink ink I only have in a mini pad so I press the mini pad onto the acrylic block and add water and then I just swish it around with my brush and it is watery and like paint and I can splatter it onto the surface of my card. I think that background color turned out really nice. For this card, I'm going to add a backing to it because I need to close off the specimen window. I'm just using a piece of paper from an old book, which will be the background of this card. I'm then going to punch the hole for my specimen window and I use my one and a half inch round punch. I have transparent flower stickers that I'm using and I've put them on laminating sheets and popped them to the laminator and I'm going to add them to the specimen window. I use double sided tape around the window to add the laminated sheet. And then I just trim the edges and then run it under the sewing machine with some black thread all the way around the card. This will help seal all the layers and also gives it a beautiful finishing touch. This is going to be in the style of an index card, so I'm going to add a little tab at the top. I'm using a piece of paper from an old dictionary for the little tab, and I'm just stitching back and forth with some zigzag and plain stitch. Quite rough, I like that rough look. And then I'm going to have a piece of matching or coordinating washi tape, just adding a little piece of that just to bring the color through from the flowers. And then I feel these index cards need some kind of numbering or text so I have an old a raffle ticket and I've just cut out that number I like the print of that and I stick that down with hot glue 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and that you were inspired to create your own specimen index card or playing card. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the little notification bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. I'll see you again soon. Bye.